Hello Legends, welcome back to a video where I look at a couple of the characters that have been in the game since the beginning. I have found evidence in the game, one of it I'm not entirely sure of whether it's the same character but it does seem to be and one is irrefutable evidence of a character that has returned to the, in the Wastelanders DLC but there has actually been mentions of these characters in the game since the very start. While exploring the mile, we come across a bunker. It's the Carson family bunker. But and that's what leads me to believe that this possibly isn't related to the character, but it could well be because the character we're looking at has a different surname. After dealing with a few of the pests inside, we can head further in. Now, if you notice all the the bunker seems to be burnt out and damaged. There are more pesky rad roaches. Plenty of glowing fungus in here as well and brain fungus, great for making those brain bombs and other such brain soup, etc. But those little boosts to experience and stuff. We will explore further inside the bunker but a bit later on. I did try and interact with that intercom but there was no sort of attention, no sort of reaction. So after grabbing some caps and searching the desk we find Caleb's note and this is what we came down here for. I've done all I can to help my family, to try to help my neighbours but somehow, somehow it all went wrong. Beth, the kids, I want to yell at Maddie for leaving her toys around or remind Max to poke air holes in his firefly jar, but they're gone, dead. Should I have stopped them when they came to the house, or denied Beth her medicine? Should I never have listened to Rally to begin with? All I wanted to do was save them, and now I'm left with nothing. My only comfort is that I'm about to leave this all behind, and Beth, if I don't get to join you all in the afterlife, forgive me. So this might explain why Caleb is the way he is and why he takes his actions in the Raider questline but I'm not going to entirely spoil that. We can search further into the bunker but after searching all that there is no further information about Caleb, no notes, nothing on terminals, it's just mostly junk lying around. So we shall go and talk to Caleb and see if there's any follow up dialogue with this. Is it daytime out there? You can lose track of time down here. Lou chewed me out real good over letting you know where he was. He's got a real anger streak in him sometimes. You think after everything we've been through, he could learn a thing or two about forgiveness. It may be he takes things out on me because he thinks I'll always be here for him. But we both know with his longevity that won't always be the case. God help him. Love getting stuff for free. Good thing those settlers haven't learned that yet. Did I? You think I brought hell itself down on that man? I only ever look out for him. I this guess I ought to get back to work. At least I can distract myself with the endless amount of improvements yeah. and repairs Always that need to get done. That's what Avery says. We ditch Margie for Meg. And that old so much liquidator. work to do. Yeah, good thing. And too. do I get any thanks? Long dead or one of those well, scorched things. I do. Stuck with Margie. But I could use no more. Kidding. Bet they feel pretty stupid now. Pretty dead. Do you want to survive? You do what you got to do. But when we get there, unfortunately, he just seems to say what he says when you complete the raider quest line or the with the settlers quest line. Heading to Sunny Top Ski Lanes, we can deal with the current residents, the super mutants that are here, and then we can go investigate further inside.
After looting the bodies, we can head further inside to deal with the rest of the super mutants and their pets. After dealing with a few of the super mutants, we can head back downstairs where I can get the ski top Sunny Lane's key. And there's also an explosives crate to open, which has a few explosives in, as the name would suggest. Then we can head further in to deal with anything else that is dealt with. Heading downside, there's a can chimes trap and somewhere for us to break stuff down and deal with while I was doing that I got snuck up on by a wolf and yeah there can be plenty of enemies in this area so it's not a place to come when you're low level searching the area downstairs there are some useful components and telephones and stuff first aid box and plenty of lockers, don't forget to search those as they bring plenty of useful loot a bit of radex as well, useful for low level characters I'll do another video explaining why you probably shouldn't be using radex at a higher level at all, it becomes pretty much useless once you learn certain knowledges of how to deal with other things in the wasteland but that's a topic for another video so getting back to this, we shall head further on into the sunny top ski lanes to investigate what is around here after looting this ammo box and getting the essential parts and grabbing the skis which have fiberglass and wood is useful for all manner of things and there's also a ski sword if you're low enough level, useful place to pick that up as well. Heading back upstairs, we can then deal with the remaining super mutants and anything, any other pesky what? enemies that Scared remain. Already? <laughs> no, I angry. Is that a wolf that just went past there? Yeah, I decided to go and investigate and it also gives us a chance to have a look around the back here and look at any more loot that we may need to find. There is a first aid box here as well. Also, always useful to pick up a stim pack. Some can chimes, which is what... <sighs> that one nearly had me there. I can hear others walking about. I couldn't see them when I headed outside, so... We should just head back inside and deal with these can chimes, looting, disarming those, and having a look around here, taking anything that's useful. taking a look at the garden gnome we can head back into the main area where I fought the sea mutants it's a little reminder of how vicious the raiders can be on the table there heading upstairs there are two doors the left one is chained and the right one is locked but we have the key that we retrieved from the reception area when we came into sunny top ski lanes and a nice little trap left by the raiders, a reminder that they didn't want anyone going in this 
room. So presumably this is Marge's room, which was the leader of the raiders at Sunnytop Ski Lanes. After looting this, we can look at the concerns with Margie Holotape. Meg here. Look, I've got to say something before it's too late. I think old Margie is off her rocker, man. You know, we are all trying our best here, but this whole idea of being a raider without killing oh, is way harder than it sounds. I mean, yeah, I get it, but damn, girl, this is life and death out there. Some of these people are just trying to make it like anyone else after the bombs. Yeah, I don't want to kill them if they don't give up their stuff. But, you know, we got to eat, and so do they. Waving a gun around used to scare them, but now they got nothing to lose, so they wave one right back. I keep telling Margie we are losing people out there because we're told not to fire first, and it ain't getting any easier. She don't know it yet, but a lot of us, we've been firing first anyway, so to save our skins. Margie be pissed, but she ain't out there like the rest of us, so <laughs> to heck with her. Only reason we don't up and mutiny her ass is because she's got that piece of the key for the cash and a few loyalists to protect her. And honestly, it still be tame with any of the other gangs. That deal we've got with the palace is pretty sweet. All told, we got it pretty good. Oh well, guess all we can do is keep on keeping on, you dig? So Meg mentioned the palace, so we can head there. And on top of the palace, we find no trace of any raiders, but there is Margie McClintock. And in her backpack, it has a goodbye note as well which says take me too and i think this is something that was added later because i don't remember it being there when i first came here way back in the beta was when i did most of my lore explanation exploration of the palace and yeah so she presumably wanted to leave with the palace sect of the raiders but they didn't want her to come along um, but fortunately she still has the key that you need to help complete Rose's quest line in the main storyline but that's for an entirely different video now we shall go and see if we can follow up and talk to um, Meg about any of the stuff we found but like Caleb they hadn't really put anything in there there's no thought uh, about it you couldn't say to her look I found this holotape is this you or anything else but let's see what she has to say. Appalachia belongs to us. And there ain't nobody that can prove me wrong. What the hell do you want this time? Why'd you come back to Appalachia? If there really is a trove of unimaginable anything here, it belongs to us. We're the ones gonna benefit off it. Not some parasites who never fought for this place. We may have checked out for a bit, but that don't mean we're down to share. Do you lead the people here? Going on too many years now. And I didn't bring them back here for nothing. You want to underestimate us? You take your shot. And finally, Meg, can I ask, what do you think of Foundation? <laughs> you mean, what do I think of a bunch of trespassers living off our land? For now, they're just easy pickings. They can build their little town and do all the hard work while we shake them down every chance we get. Don't forget, Appalachia belongs to us. And so now the only thing left for me to do is to say thank you for watching this video. I hope you found this useful. Also, go and check out the first Wastelands trailer because Meg is depicted differently and I think it's very interesting. It's kind of a, a similar kind of mental image I suppose I had when I heard the voice originally in the original trailer and I wonder why the design decision was changed but I do like the current version of Meg and I, I can see you know why it was changed but yeah it's, it's interesting to further further reading on the subject but 
yeah I've been McQueen this has been my little look at something I found very interesting and discovered in the game let me know what you think about Caleb and if you're new here subscribe and hit like and finally I want to apologize for my PlayStation sound like a fan in the background you know like a low flying airplane not much I can do about it just waiting for the PS5 but uh, hopefully when that comes out it'll have better capture quality and we'll be able to improve the ability of the videos so thank you so much for watching goodbye